This is the Ice Sucks Thicks Heart Cinema episode 10.333. It is the second of a three-parter giant Halloween episode. If you haven't listened to episode 10.0, I guess, uh, go do that, dummy. <laughs> Speaking of Jeff Bridges, that just reminded me of another movie that I it scares the shit out of me to this day. True Grit. Arachnophobia. Ah, ah yes. Ah, yes. But that's Jeff Daniels. <laughs> or Jeff Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> I, was thinking of Je- I was thinking of Jeff Daniels it's the entire so time. About he that. inserted Jeff Bridges into it. <laughs> I could see Jeff Bridges in that movie. Yeah. John Goodman. Hey, man. Jo- just John Goodman is the <laughs> my spiders. John Goodman is the fucking man in that movie. John Goodman is oh, so good in that movie. Yeah. He's, he's, he's phenomenal. In that. I've never, I've never seen it start to finish. You yeah. see it on TV every now I've and then. I've seen bits yeah. and pieces on TV. I have never sat down to watch Arachnophobia because I'm scared of spiders and I'm probably never going to sit down to watch Arachnophobia. We, we watched the whole thing in its entirety at in Chewie's room. Me, Dan, Chewie. Oh yeah, watched right. it. This is like last summer, uh, like uh, something uh, like that. Yeah, like a year or so. Ago. And we're like, oh man, this is terrifying. And then like the the the, the <coughs> end credit song. Is what's it called? Like stop, stop creeping on me, or like yeah, no, yeah. No, quit bugging me. Quit bugging me. Quit That's bugging me <laughs> by <laughs> Jimmy Buffett. <Bye. laughs> <laughs> an inappropriate closing credit song. I know. <laughs> Jimmy fucking Buffett. Um, another one that I think it scared me when I first saw it, but now that I watch it, I realize it's not a scary movie at all. Is uh, Phantoms. Yeah. Phantoms was the bomb, Phantoms yo. Phantoms was the bomb, yo. But the, as like seeing that for the first time, it was pretty creepy. Like the just being trapped in the building, and then the the evil creature thing possessing people, and yeah, yeah, it was pretty creepy. Fucking Lushire or whatever is the giant mutant tentacle. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Crawling on the floor. <laughs> oh, Ross the Boss Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Yeah, references that some people get. <laughs> Alright, well, Kelly's here now, so I guess we could potentially play games. Also means my time to go. Also means <laughs> Justin Chu is leaving, so... One in, one out. One in, one out. Tag out. Make the tag. Hot tag. There it is. Sorry. Say goodbye to Justin, fellas. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, Heel turn! Oh, Kelly. Oh, Heel turn and his own partner. For those of you who can't see this, i.e. everyone, <laughs> <laughs> Kelly took the tag... And then immediately turned on Justin and elbowed him in the face. Okay, I gotta go. Okay, okay Justin has to go to the hospital. Say, say goodbye to Justin. Bye. 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 Bye to Justin. How about it? <laughs> well, I think this is a moment for, uh, I don't know, this. How about it? How about it? I miss you so much. <laughs> To start, oh. I know what you're thinking. Oh, it's Who are a... you? I came to talk you out of it. You need to just accept that your son is dead. Not try to bring him back. <laughs> I know you're thinking of putting him up there. The Indian burial ground up that road. You're thinking of putting him up there. <laughs> Don't deny the thought I can cross your mind, Lewis. You're thinking if you bury his body there, it will come back to life. But sometimes, dead is better. Indian burial ground? You asked me. If anyone ever buried a person up there and make my ground. It's been done before, what you're thinking of. His name was Timmy Bateman. You're saying if I dig up my son's body and rebury him at the old Indian burial ground that I... Don't do it, stop. The person you put up there ain't the person that comes back. What comes out of the ground ain't the thing you put in. The aliens knew that. They stopped you from that burial ground. That's why they stopped using it when the ground went saw. I'm just here to talk you out of it. Don't bury your son's body at the Indian burial ground, Starch. The one that's right up over there behind the Addison's barn. Sometimes... Dad is better. Dad is better. <laughs> Do you remember when you and I went and got Pet Cemetery? <laughs> yes. To watch it for that man. Yes, of course. It's freaking Herman Munster. <laughs> There's a typo in the title of that movie. Uh, shut the fuck up. I don't, <laughs> Scott, I don't care. Nobody cares. Get out of this room. You're off the podcast. Ah. Don't ever talk ill of that movie. I'm I ama- love I'm that fucking I movie. I'm amazed I made it 10 episodes, episodes before being kicked off. Sometimes, dead is better. <laughs>
Fun about piece it. of trivia about Pet Cemetery. Uh, when my mom was, when I was yet to be born and she was pregnant uh, and I was inside of her, uh, <laughs> she read Pet Cemetery and uh, uh, almost went into labor multiple times because it is so goddamn scary. <laughs> so, and what my family likes to affectionately, affectionately say is that's the reason I am who I am today. <laughs> so, Stephen King, like, I absorbed evil shit through. <laughs> <laughs> the amniotic sac of my mother, I guess, or I don't even know if that's an actual medical term, but whatever. It is. I don't know if it is for humans. <laughs> I don't know if it has to do with birth. <laughs> I think my spiders might have one. I don't really know, but my mom's a spider. Do I have it? <laughs> Pet cemetery infected her, and now I'm a, now I'm a scary human being. <laughs> do I have a thorax? <laughs> My mom and Jeff Bridges were both in, in arachnophobia. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was hoping I could find the clip after or before the one that I just played, but for whatever reason, it's not on YouTube. And I was hoping I could find the uh, the episode. It's from the episode of South Park where they fake kill Butters so that he can pretend to be the new girl at school, so that she he can get in with the girls to figure out how they're. Uh, what the hell is the finger? Yeah, the, the little... I don't know what they're called. I don't know. The, you know, the oh, thing where, those things, yeah. where it's like, pick a number. One, two, three, four. Pick a color. Blah, blah, blah. And so they get a pig and dress it like Butters and throw it off the roof. And his dad runs over and goes, Oh, Butters! You smell like bacon! <laughs> <laughs> but apparently it's not on YouTube. And that's the only thing I can use right now. So... Um, yeah, so now that we're all here and... Uh, we can play some games. Uh, I understand Nick has categories this time. Ooh. Yay. So there's another... I bought a book. You bought a book. So you got, like, hard copy Leonard Maltin Guide? Yes. Love and it. it is very, very large. Yep. And it is very, very difficult to read. <laughs> you have poor vision. I really hope that you have your movies bookmarked so we don't have to sit here and listen to you flip through pages. I did one better. I actually wrote all of the movies down or all the information I need on a piece of notebook paper. Fan so fantastic. We're good together. We're good to go. Good to go. All right. Well, I'm going to say that we start off with a game we haven't played in a little while. Okay. So we are going to play Film Kitties. Okay. So Film Kitties is a ripoff of Movie Cats, which is uh, you start off with an actor or a movie then the next person would have to name... So if you start off with an actor, then the next person has to name a movie that that actor is in, then the next person would have to name another actor in that movie, then the next person would have to name a movie that that actor is yeah. in, and so on and so forth. So, yeah, you go movie, actor, movie, actor. Movie, actor, actor movie, movie, actor, movie, actor. You guys got it? And when you, yes. and uh, when you, when you can't it. think of one, okay. when you can't think of one, you challenge the person who just told you, and they have to answer their own so you basically you pretty much have to back up your own shit okay yeah so so alex the idea is so if i say uh freaking anger management because i just looked at it <laughs> then you would say adam sandler then kelly would say another adam sandler movie big daddy and then i would have to say another actor in big daddy and if i couldn't think of one I'd have to challenge Kelly to name another actor in Big Daddy, and if he couldn't do it, then you get the point. And if he get, can, then he gets the point. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, Alex, why don't you start and generally pick either a big-name actor or a big-name movie. Something easy to do. Yeah, and don't, then we'll, don't start obscure. Yeah, don't start obscure, and then from there we'll kind of pick away at it. And we'll go, uh, we'll go Alex to Nick, and then Nick to me. And then we'll go... Counterclockwise within our own room here. Yeah. Okay. Um, Jeff Bridges. Arachnophobia. No, it's not your turn. Shut I know, up. I just got excited. <laughs> Correct answer. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Nick. Uh, a Jeff Bridges movie. Uh, we'll just go Big Lebowski. Okay. Well, I'm gonna say John Turturro. I'm going to say Mr. Deeds. <laughs> Steve Buscemi. Okay, Alex, a Steve Buscemi movie. Um, okay, I'm just going to fall back on Reservoir Dogs. Okay, Nick, another actor in Reservoir Dogs. Uh, Tim Roth. I will say Planet of the Apes! Helena Bonham Carter. Fuck you. 
Again, Scott, off the podcast. Oh, come on. You are not allowed to bring up anything Tim Burton related in this room. <laughs> you <laughs> did that by saying Planet of the Apes. No. Now, hold on a sec. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. I totally just did. Yeah. Well, you I'm out. Asshole. You're off the podcast. I'm off the that podcast. Reminds me, before this, uh, we, Drew and I were talking about uh, different categories for the show, and I jokingly said that we should do a category called No Discernible Talent Whatsoever, the films of Tim Burton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah, we did, we did. <laughs> Now, so you have to name a movie that has uh, yeah, Helen Bonham Carter. I know, but it's a side thing. Helen Bonham Carter played the like the female ape that yeah, was like doing the love she, interest. She was the most fuckable. Most I was just gonna say that. Now, would you do her without the makeup on or with the makeup? Uh, everybody say their answer. At the count of three. One, two, three. Yes. With the makeup. <laughs> oh, with makeup. Sorry, I meant to say yeah. with makeup. Uh, okay, so you have to name okay. another. Alright, uh, oh, for fuck's sake. Um, <laughs> okay, just think of every know. Tim Burton movie. I know. That's <laughs> true. Um, oh, let's, I guess Alice in Wonderland. Okay, Alice in Wonderland, Alex, somebody I was else. Hoping, I was hoping you'd say a Harry Potter movie so we could at least get the fuck off of Tim Burton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But here we are. Well, what did you say, sorry? Uh, he said Alice in Wonderland. The new one. Um, or the newest one. Except for the most obvious thing. So well, you're, you're, allowed, you're allowed to say it. I was going to yell cop out, but I guess that's fine. Yeah. So, Johnny yeah. Depp. Johnny Depp. Okay, Nick, a Giant should, Depp movie. Should have said Stephen Fry, by the way. Oh, yeah, Stephen Fry, voice oh, of the Cheshire shit. Cat. Oh, shit. Uh, it's too late now. Giant Depp. Let's make this interesting. Ed Wood. Oh, oh. oh fuck. Uh, oh, man. Good call. Is that the western one? No, it's no, the black and white one. Yeah. It's bad movie making. Bad movie making? Uh, fuck, I haven't seen it in a long time. Uh, I want to say... Oh, I don't think he's in it. Is James Woods in it? I'd have to check. Mm, I don't Not believe so. Let me look. Do you know what part he would have played? <laughs> no, you know what? It's been a long, it. long ass time since I've seen it. I don't see his name on like the top of the yeah. bill. And then as soon as I obviously as soon as I see the bill, I remember like fifteen people yeah. in the movie. Martin Landau is Bella Lugosi. Oh god damn it! Okay, well that means that Nick gets a point. So, or do we do, do I want to do? Do you already want to? Do you want to do? I was gonna do till two, and then we'll start at Leonard. But if you want to just do, I was gonna either do the two or do elimination. No, elimination's too long. All right. I don't want to make this a five-hour podcast. Okay, yeah. we'll do, we'll do okay, we'll do it to fir- first person the two. So, all right, so, so Nick has one point. So that means Scott I'll will start, start, and we'll same order. We don't need to reverse it. Okay. So anybody. Um, so let's go with the Godfather Part Three. Fuck you. That's terrible. It's a movie. Do you know anybody in The Godfather Part 3? Oscar nominated. For some crazy fucking reason. Is that Al Pacino? Yeah, it's Al Pacino. Okay. So you're saying Al Pacino? Alex, Al Pacino? Uh, I can't think of anything particularly obscure, so let's say uh, Scarface. Wow. What do I do at night? Oh, shit. What do I do at night? Fight crime. Wow. You should have respected my authority. <laughs> Hello there, Mr. Um, I know I'm thinking of the other movie that people fucking obsess over for no goddamn reason, but and by people, is you John mean Leguizamo mi- in it? By people, you mean minorities? People? <laughs> people? Uh, I don't know. Is John Leguizamo in it? I've never seen it. I don't think it. so. It would be a really young John Leguizamo. I'm probably thinking of Carlito's Way. You are. Same fucking people. thing. Yeah, he's definitely in Carlito's Way. Yeah, um, that's what I'm thinking of. Okay, well, that's uh, that's Alex. One for Alex. One for Alex. So, uh, start, with Drew. start with me, and I will say... Okay, I'm going to get to uh, somebody who I recently decided I love, and that's Paul Rudd. Okay. Uh, Paul Rudd, I will go with... Uh, I can't think of the one I want to say. It was one of his first starring ones. Clueless. No... But he was in Clueless. Yes, he was in Clueless. He was a stepbrother that wanted to bang his stepsister. <laughs> That's great. Uh, and did. Uh, and did. It was a bad romantic comedy with a... Jennifer uh, Aniston. It's like my dead ex-girlfriend or something. No, I don't know. It's that's not the right thing. I, I think it was him and Evil and Gory or something. That's the one I wanted to do. Anyway, I will go role models. Is that 
Over her dead body? Over yes! Her dead body. Over her dead body. That was the it's too late, though. You already said role Ro- models. Ro- so. Role models. Uh, Jane Lynch. Hmm. Good. Jane Lynch to you, Ox. Uh, uh, remind me who that is. She's, <laughs> She's the... the er, okay. You ever seen that terrible show, Glee? No. Have you ever seen... Uh, 40-Year-Old Virgin? Yeah. She's the uh, store manager of the electronic store that they work at. You know, the short-haired lesbian lady? Oh, Thank you, Thank shit, you blonde funny you lady. Mean. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she's in everything now. She's in everything now, yeah. I can think of one right off the top of my head that's... Except... I think you took the one other movie. Shh, shh, you hey, Nick! <laughs> you took the one good one. Yeah, I can't he... think of anything that she's in aside from that. He can use that if so, he wants. I guess I helped him, but... I can see it. I guess, yeah, I guess he can use, you can use what Drew said. You can use it, I don't care. It wasn't Drew's turn. Uh, no, I think it's unfair. Yeah, I think it's unfair. Well, that means that Kelly has to name another movie that Jane Lynch is in. Don't take the cop out. I'm not into that. She's in Wreck-It Ralph. That's the one I was thinking of, Wreck-It Ralph. She's in some of the Christopher Guest movies. Aren't she in Best in Show? Yeah, yeah, she's in one of them. Yeah, yeah, Yeah. for sure. All right, well, point to Kelly. Point to Kelly. So, uh, Nick. Nick, you're up. So who has points? Nick, Alex, and Kelly. Okay. Everybody but the two people who do this podcast all the time. Every episode. <laughs> uh, pick an actor or a movie. Either one. Uh, either. Um. You know what? Mentioned mentioned earlier, we'll go with uh, Vincent Price. Right. Vincent Price. I will say. Hmm. 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 Oh fuck! Now, I know one too. Here's, here's the thing. I can either go with the route that can keep the game going, or I can go with the route that fucks Scott over big time. <laughs> Mine might be the same. You know what? I want that damn point. So uh, I'm going to say the last man on Earth. Uh, oh, you're an asshole. Fuck you. That's not what I was going to pick. Were you going to pick? No. He was in that, but no, mine was even worse. There's obscure. no way you know another actor in that movie. No, I don't. Yay, point for me. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Challenge. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> um... Oh. No, I I had it. It's another decently sized actor who is... It's, oh, fuck. Oh, it's whoever the chick is. And... I'm telling you right now, you don't know who it is. Zsa Zsa Gabor. <laughs> Point to Scott. Fuck. <laughs> Good strategy, Drew. My movie was more obscure. What was yours? The Great Mouse Detective. Oh, nice. yeah. He was Radigan. <laughs> was he? Yeah, that's right. He totally was. Hmm. That was his favorite role. Yeah. Legit? Uh, uh. Now I'm watching trailers of movies I don't want to watch. What are you doing, Drew? I don't know. I'm clicking on things. So who else was in the last one on Earth? Ah, uh, it's not who I thought it was. No. Okay, yeah. Literally Frank no. Frank of Atoya. Nobody I've heard of. <laughs> yeah, it's a bunch of Italian people. There's no way. Yeah. Damn. All right. So uh, that's Kelly now. Yeah, we'll start with Kelly. So everyone has a point but Drew. So sudden death unless Drew gets this point. Uh, so it could be an actor or a movie? Yeah, anything. Anything. Just go with what you're thinking. Well, Liam Neeson. No. <laughs> Maybe. It, Maybe. Was, it was what you were thinking. Okay, no. We agree on that. <laughs> it was not. Uh, <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't, don't hurt yourself, Kelly. Rookie of the Year. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, do you even know what Rookie of the Year is? No. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> it's a kid's baseball I'll, movie. I'll, I'll pick another one. I'll pick another one. <laughs> yeah, give, give it a one. Oh yeah, we have baseball. Mm. <laughs> I don't like that tone, Alex. <laughs> um, uh, no, it's okay. Kelly, Kelly's picking Kelly, a new one. Kelly's, Kelly's picking, picking a new one. Oh, okay. You can't, you can't, you can't screw yeah. a guy off the first. That round. was way too yeah. obscure. Uh, let's go with uh, the British stuff. Let's go with uh, Hot Fuzz. What was that? Hot Fuzz. Hot Fuzz. Yeah. Oh, good movie. Um, I can probably think of a bunch of people that are in that. Let me think. Uh, what's his name? We're probably thinking the same I know, person. I know. I can't think of someone not obvious. I, I think we're all thinking the same person for that. The same, not mm. one of the two stars. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, not the two main people. Just. Everyone will 
Alex, you're killing me. Okay, I don't, I'm just, just going to say Nick Frost, because okay. that's the, le- the, the less of the main two guys. Okay. And we were all thinking... We were all thinking of Timothy Dalton. Timothy, we were all thinking of Timothy, <laughs> Timothy Dalton. Dalton, for sure. Actually, I was thinking Martin Freeman. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, so, Nick, Nick Frost. Frost. I really have no other choice than to go with... Uh, uh, we'll take it. Uh, we'll take it out of England's hands, and we'll say Paul. Yeah, take that, England. Uh, we'll <laughs> say ugh, Jason Bateman, I guess. Extract. Mila Kunis. Mila Kunis. Mila Kunis. Mila Kunis. Meg Griffin okay. herself. Meg Griffin herself. Uh, Jackie from that '70s show. Uh, American Psycho 2. I don't know if this counts as a film or not. Does does Stewie Griffin in Untold Story count as a film? Oh, Uh, I see your game. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to say no, actually. That seems like cheating, because isn't it it just a bunch of episodes mashed into a movie? It was actually billed as a movie, though, when it it first came out on DVD. Nick? I think we got to go with theatrical releases. I think we'll go with theatrical releases. Although, no, well, yeah, I guess we'll go with theatrical releases. That's too easy. That's a cop-out. Which is a okay movie. If you're into Kevin uh, Smith doing stupid movies. Yeah. Uh, I think... Uh, oh, shit. She was in Ted, wasn't she? Yeah. Ted. I'll say she Ted. was. Uh, Sam Jones. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> Flash Gordon, because that's all I can think of him in. And challenge. Timothy Dalton, suck my dick. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, point for me. <laughs> now I also could have gone with Max von Sydow. Ah, yes, you could have. All right, I now it's legitimate sort of point based on Flash Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Kelly again. And Kelly starts. Actor or movie, my friend. Um, let's go with. What are you doing? He. I'm Jennifer Lopezing my hand and then <laughs> making it suck my wiener. Uh, what was that? Nothing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> he drew a face on his hand. It only had more confusion. Okay. He drew a face on his hand and now he's jerking off with it. Like you do. Yep. Let's go with my, my all-time favorite actress, Jean Reno. Jean Reno, Alex. Reno. You, what was that, sorry? Jean Reno. Jean Reno. French actor, big nose. Not Gerard Depardieu. Not Gerard Depardieu. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, Kelly, pick a new person. Yeah, stop screwing Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget, he's from a foreign country. So, to be sure, Jean Reno. His, his, his country is a lot closer, closer to Jean, Jean Reno's country than ours. English isn't his first language, okay? Jean Reno or Alex? <laughs> Jean Reno. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Alex's first language is English. Haley Joel Osment. <laughs> <laughs> Haley Joel Osment, all right. He, in fact, is the kid in AI. Okay, I'll say AI. Nick, AI. Um, is that Jude Law? It is, in fact, Jude Law. Yeah. Uh, I will say Enemy at the Gate. So. Gates, sorry, Enemy at the Gates. Uh, who is that? Is that... I confused that with another movie. But is this one Robert Redford? That is no. incorrect, sir. Fuck. <laughs> What's the Redford one? Uh, That's like that. Uh, Spy Game. Maybe. Yeah. So this, I don't know. Spy yeah. Game was a World War Two, was it? Spy, no, Spy Game's like current, yeah. like like nineties. Him and Brad Pitt. This like one, this one's like, Russia World War Two. Yeah, I, I, I feel like there was a war movie with Redford that I always confuse. 
enemy of the gateway. A bridge too far. It's not that. <laughs> no, it's like a 90s movie. A called. fridge too far. <laughs> Could be a fridge too far. Hey, Fetty, I guess. <laughs> I guess. You move you. A fridge too far. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I got that wrong, and I think Drew made, made the impossible comeback there, actually. Which yeah. one? Who do, who do I go with? There's... <laughs> Rachel Weiss, there's Joseph Fiennes, there's, there's Ron Perlman, there's Ed Bob Harris. Bob Hoskins, Ed Harris, Ed Harris, Ed is, Harris. The, Ed yeah. Harris is the German sniper. Who, that's the thing I hate about that movie. <laughs> Nobody bothered with an accent. Look, Look Ollie, Ollie, Sean Connery got away with it for twenty five years. Okay, Scottish accent, Russian submarine commander. <laughs> But, like, Jude Law was a Russian. He had a British accent. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. Bob well, Hoskins had a br- British had, accent. Yeah. No, no, he had a, well, yeah, he had a British sort accent. Sort of a, a British-Russian mix. Mix. Was was like, like, I thought Bob Hoskins always did an Italian accent. Like in Super, Super Mario Brothers. Brothers. Yeah. And Ed Harris was just being an American. Yeah, Ed Harris was an American pretending Speaking to be a German. Speaking German without, like, any accent. Yeah, it was weird. It was real weird. Hey, there's another uncomfortable hanging of a kid movie. There is, yeah. Uh, yay, I win! <laughs> so... Suck it. Uh, that means I guess I'm going to start first then, because I won. So. Good for you. So we'll play Leonard Malton game. I'm sure we're all familiar with the rules. Yeah. Uh, I will go. I made some specific uh, Halloween-related ones or horror-related ones. That's but I was wondering if this was all I'll, ca- I'll kind of mix them in, because I don't want to totally help Nick win everything. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Uh, let's see. Who who's going first in this? Uh, should we just pick? Just pick. Sure. Okay. Uh, Nick, you can just pick. Go. You can go first. We'll go clockwise. Scott, we'll, what we'll is go. happening? It's turning on. Oh God damn it! You can't have your iPad turned on to get this shit going. Shut up! It'll be up in twelve seconds. Okay. Well, I'm going to just do whatever's on the very first page here, so I don't have to keep paging around. Uh, so Nick, your choices are. Uh, the first one is you're not scaring anyone. Uh, those are mainstream horror movies that have a five percent or less rating on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> awesome. Um, then the second category is a frightening start. Uh, those are movies featuring a big Hollywood actor or actress now who got their one of their very first movie roles in a horror film. Uh, and the second one. Uh, well, I'm gonna go with the birthday one because I always write down birthdays and it never, I never get to use it. So today's birthday is uh, Vigo Mortensen. You so... fucker! I have a Vigo category. Well, it's too late now. Is your is yours a clever pun? No, mine's just Vigo Mortensen's birthday. Well, mine is here Vigo again. So I would. <laughs> Fine, I won't use the Vigo Mortensen category. You're a dick. Uh... Well, if you do it another time, then you can call it that because it's like. Call back to the original Vigo Mortensen. That's very category. true. That's, well, that's what I do with with the birthday ones. I just parlay them into regular categories. Yeah, I, I've done that with a couple. Okay, fine. We're not doing the Vigo Mortensen, so Scott can do it later. Uh, you make me sound like a fucking monster here. You are a monster. <laughs> okay, sorry, Nick. So yours are zero um, percent to five percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, big actors who got their start in a horror film, or the third one, the new third one is. Uh, Shuck it long and shuck it hard. Those are uh, vampire movies. Oh, I thought it was going to be movies with Sean Connery and Alex Trebek in them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll go... Suck it long and suck it hard. Okay, uh, these are uh, vampire movies. Would you like one from... Uh, let's see... 1985, uh, 1995... Or, hmm, what's a good one? Uh, let's go 19, uh, 1996. So, 85, 95, or 96? 85. Did you say 85? 85. I said 85, yeah. What a fucker. 1985. Leonard Maltin gives this movie three stars. Um... He says it's an entertaining, old-fashioned horror outing, energized by the whoever did the special effects. I'm not going to say his name. Uh, his spectacular special effects, uh, and it's highlighted by two wonderful performances. Um, yeah, and that's all I can tell you. It's got six actors. I can do it in four. Four. 
And we go to Alex from there. Oh, yeah, sorry, Alex, you're next. So, four names or name it. Three names. Uh, oh, sorry, three names or name it. Three names or name it. Um, okay, let's say three. Name it. Kelly told you to name it, Alex. Okay, so I get some... You get, yeah, yeah. Right. you get three names. Uh, you know what? I'm going to say one of them. Very helpful. Uh, your three... Do you need the clues again? Uh, no, just give me the names. Okay, your three names are Jonathan Stark, Stephen Jeffries... Old Stark! And Roddy McDowell. <laughs> of Planet of the Apes fame. Can we confirm uh, this is not Planet of the Apes? Yeah. There's no vampires in Planet of the Apes. Although I would watch Planet of the Apes vampires. Fuck yeah. That'd be great. <laughs> Planet of the Planet of the Mind. <laughs> Fuck, I think I know what it is. I didn't have really a decent idea in my head going into this. And I, nothing's coming into my head. So, well, just think of a mid-80s horror movie that might have vampires in it. Fright Night from the 80s. Fright Night. Fright Night was the 80s. Your top three names are Amanda Bierce, William Ragsdale, and Chris Sarandon. You fucking nailed it, Alex. I have fucked. I knew it, too. Well, well done. done. Yeah. I, I, I saw the... the uh, was it Colin Farrell remake? Yeah. 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 Uh, I saw that in 3D with audio descriptions for some reason. <laughs> because we went on that is an interesting movie decision. Were the descriptions in 3D? Uh, <laughs> was it no, text coming at you? <laughs> 3D text. And then you said wrong. So it like really sort of disrupted the rest of 3D, so I wouldn't recommend it. Right, right. Oh, yeah. Uh, Nick, did you know that one? Uh, well, I mean, when you said Roddy McDowell, okay. I figured it was either that one or Lost Boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I assume that you knew it, because he really didn't do a whole lot that wasn't Planet of the Apes. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that was one point for Alex, uh, so it's Scott. Me. To Kelly. Going to... Should we do or do, do we have enough people that we can just keep going in a Yeah, yeah, circle? sure, we can go keep going. So, yeah. Scott to Nick. So, Scott, would you like... Okay, here's a category I want to use because it's silly, but it's not going to help you guys at all. Okay. Uh, the title of the category is It Was a Struggle, because this is a movie that I had to watch four times because... <laughs> The first three times, I saw it two times in theaters, fell asleep. <laughs> first time I watched it on DVD, fell asleep. The fourth time, I finally made it through this movie. Not, not necessarily because it's that bad of a movie, I just kept falling asleep while I watched <laughs> this movie. In theaters, nonetheless, That's twice. That's something, yeah. So it's, uh, it was a struggle. There's only one for that. Um, okay, The Bridges of Los Angeles County... The movies of Jeff Bow or Lloyd Bridges. Okay. Uh, and then I will keep up with some horror ones. I like this one, so we'll go with A Frightening Start, which is big name actors starting in a horror movie. Okay. Uh, so, and are the are the answers in that the horror movie that they started? Yes, in? yes, okay. yes. Um, let's do that. Okay. Uh, would you like 1993, um, 1984... Or 1976. 76. What was this category, sorry? Uh, it's uh, big name Hollywood actors now who got their yeah. early start in a horror movie. Okay. Uh, Larry gives this movie two and a half stars. Uh, well, hold on. I'll refrain that. It's not necessarily their first movie. Yeah, yeah. It's just one of their first like early big movie. movies. Yeah, like... Yeah. Okay. Early. It's not necessarily... Yeah. Some of them are, some of them aren't. Anyways, uh, so Leonard gives it two and a half stars. Uh, he says... Uh... Oh, man. A lot of this gives it away. Uh... Shit, I don't know that I can really say anything from this. Uh, Fuck. It's a it's a gory melodrama. Um, 
The director borrows much of it from Hitchcock, but uh, he has a very little, or has little of the master's wit or subtlety. I guess okay. that's, that's good. Uh, two, four, six, eight, nine names. Hmm. Let's go nine. Nine names to you, Nick. Um. Seven. Alex? Uh, six. I'll say five. I'll say name it. Scott says name it. Six would have helped you. Ooh. Uh, so two and a half stars, 1976. Uh, the, your names are Priscilla Pointer, PJ Souls, Betty Buckley, mm -hmm. Nancy Allen, mm -hmm. who's kind of an... Yeah, she's someone. Uh, sorry, you said five? Yeah. He gets five, yeah. And Amy Irving. 76. Big name actor gets their one of their starts in it. I had an idea based on the year. But so did I. But I don't know. That's, that, that's my only real guess, I think. Um, but I feel like it's too early. Um, but I guess she would have been really young at the time. Uh, if that's what I'm thinking of. Um, a little Jamie Lee Curtis and Halloween. That was my thinking, but I have it in my head that Halloween is 78. So yeah, that's Halloween, Halloween's later. That's why uh, I said nine. The top four are John Travolta, William Cat, Piper Laurie, and Sissy Spacek. Oh, Carrie. Carrie? Carrie. Yeah. I got a point. The answer was Carrie. And that's one of Travolta's earlier movies. I mean, he, did, yeah, he, sure. he had done some stuff around then, but yeah. that was one of his first ones. Uh, okay, so Scott gets a point. So we we go, we go Nick, to Nick. Nick to Alex. So Nick, uh, would you like? Uh, you're not scaring anyone. So shitty shitty horror movies on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, let's go. Man, I got a lot. Um, uh, I'm a category I titled Being a Long Time Coming. Uh, those are movies that there was a very long period of time between the first movie and the sequel. Ah. Uh, and, and so it will, it will be the sequel that is in the category, not the original. Okay. And the other one will be... Uh, man, I... Uh, uh, um, we'll go Breaking Bond, which is uh, movies that star somebody who was James Bond at some point. But not a James but, Bond. No, but it is not a James Bond movie. It's just a movie that has a, one of the Bond actors in it. Uh, been a long time coming. Would you like one from um, 1996? 2006 or 1986? Uh, real quick, to clarify, is this only sequels or does this also include prequels? Uh, every one that I've written down is a sequel. Okay. Um, I guess I shouldn't say sequel because some of them are a franchise, but it's long periods of time between the first movie and the second movie. Okay, okay. Uh, 2006. Okay, this movie, 2006. Larry gives it two and a half stars. Um... Leonard says, It's not as bad as it might have been, even though it strains credibility. Uh, it's contrived, to be sure, but also curiously endearing. Uh, there's a lot of people appearing as themselves. Uh, and there are two, four, six, eight, uh, nine names. Um, do seven. Alex, do you? Seven? Six or less? 
Tell me, Pete, and ask for the description again. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's, uh... What did I say? It, uh, it's not as bad as it might have been, even though it strains credibility. It's contrived to be sure, but also curiously endearing. And a lot of people portray themselves. Two and a half stars, 2006, and it's a long sequel between this one and the previous movie. Okay. Uh, Nick said seven. Seven of nine, yeah. I'll, I'll say six. Uh, I'll say name it. Kelly says name it, Alex. Okay, give me some names. He said seven? He said six. Six? Six. Okay, so your names are... Ooh, this is going to be tough. Uh, Antonio Tarver, not to be confused with Michael Tarver, former NXT (laughs) rookie. Henry G. Saunders, AJ Benza, Tony Burton, James Francis Kelly III. Of course. One, two, three, four, five. You said six? Yeah, yeah. And Geraldine Hughes. I wonder if uh, uh, I'm just gonna save myself some time and just say I have no idea. <laughs> so. uh, Give us some more names. Top three are Milo Ventimiglia. Ventimiglia, the dude from Heroes. Heroes, yeah. Burt Young. And old Sly himself, Sylvester Stallone. Oh, Rocky. Rocky Balboa. Uh, Rocky Balboa. Now, that, that goes against what you originally said. Well, I said, said it was... The time between but the I first... changed it. I said a, a long period of time between the first oh, movie and, and, the, franchise, and, and the next movie. I said yeah, summer okay. franchise. Okay. Yeah. I'll, g- I'll give it to you. I'll allow it. So that's one, one, one? Uh, yeah. Are we doing killing... first to two again? Or... I guess we're doing first to two, yeah? Sure. Yeah, because we got... Because we got more, right? and I'm sure Alex wants to go to bed. It's, it, what, it's, 4 o'clock? Uh, 3.30. Yeah, it's 25 past 4, so... Oh, pa- oh God. That's okay, sorry, late sorry, late. Alex, we're killing your sleeping. Yeah, I'd like to go to bed before 5. Okay, well, we'll, we'll hurry up and get this one done, Usually, then. I don't know. Please. Uh, so that's, so that's Scott, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, Scott, uh, suck it long, suck it hard, vampire movies. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, 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 uh... Uh, you're not scaring anyone. Those are zero to fives on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. And uh, we'll go with... Uh, well, a while ago when I wrote down birthdays, it was Sam Neill's birthday. So now it's Sam Neill's birthday categories. Yeah, Sam Neill's birthday every day. Uh, I will go with the, uh, the shitty horror movies. Okay, your choices are... Um, 2003. 2005 or 2002? I would like the second 2005. Okay, uh, 2005, Leonard gives it a bomb. Okay. Um, the opening crawl is dopey and long. What follows is mind-numbingly awful. Um... I don't understand his joke, so I'm not going to read it out loud. <laughs> uh, that's really... It, it just says, Curly Howard, the role of a neurosurgeon. Okay, well, that's a so, three, some, three Stooges? Yeah, joke? some joke that he's making. Anyways, okay. so it's a horror movie, it's a bomb, and there's six names. Huh. Better go six. Six to Nick. Nick. Uh, five. Alex, five to Nick. Four, sorry, four, or tell him to name it. Um, name it. Okay, Nick, your five names. Frank C. Turner, Mark Atchison, A-C-H-E-S-O-N, not like it matters, Will Sanderson, Stephen Dorff, and Tara Reed. Ah, this is... Oh. Alone in the Dark. Yes, it is. It is Alone in the Dark. Fuckers. Yeah. Why are Tara Reed? I'm like, there's only one person I know who made a shit losing a fucking terrible... Well, movie. unfortunately, Alex, that means you don't get to go to bed yet, because now everybody has one point. Fuck. <laughs> 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 well, we'll make us go fast, so it's uh, Kelly's turn. Yeah. Kelly, do you want... Uh... Name it, give me the horror, horror genre. 
Okay, do you want vampires? Do you want an actor in a horror movie? Or do you want You're Not Scaring Anyone? Which is shitty horror movies. Vampires. Vampires. Okay, Kelly wants vampires. Do you uh, do you want uh, 1992, 1998, or 1995? 1992. Good. Good. <laughs> uh, Leonard gives this vampire movie from 1992 three and a half stars. Ooh. Uh, he says, um, he says it's, he occasionally let down by story lags, but always has one more goodie up its sleeve. Um, ooh, it, uh, I don't know, there's not a whole lot I can say that doesn't give away plot. Three and a half stars, yeah. Uh, it's occasionally let down by story lags, but always has one more goodie up its sleeve. There are two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven names. Uh, I feel ballsy, so I'm gonna say negative two. Ooh. Negative two names. I was prepared for minus one, but I. Two Scott Henson. To say negative three is to automatically lose, so I have to say name it and hope it gets it wrong. Okay, Ooh. Kelly Summers, name it with two names. This is for the win. Do you want, do you want the names and then the movie? Or uh, the movie, movie then. Give me the film, movie, and I'm not movie. gonna say anything yeah. until you've completely answered this. I'm gonna say Bram Stoker's Dracula with Gary Oldman and Anthony Hopkins. The movie. Bram Stoker's Dracula. You <laughs> <laughs> such a bad guy. Yeah. I know. The number one build actor is Gary, Gary Oldman. Oldman. The number two build actor, That's according Winona to Ryder. Leonard Maltin, oh, is Winona, Winona Ryder. Oh my god! <laughs> I was thinking Winona Ryder, but... I will take the dishonorable win any day of the week. Scott Henson like, pulls out the win. There's no fucking way that Maltin would put fucking Winona Ryder over... Who, if you had to do top three, who would you have done? Uh, I would I would have done... Oldman, Hopkins, Winona. Yeah, that's, yeah, right. that or, that's the other way. Yeah. It's Oldman, Winona, Hopkins. Yeah. Fourth Keanu Reeves. <laughs> How the fuck did Winona? Oh god. Because Leonard's drunk. Okay. <laughs> Leonard is a drunk bastard. Uh, okay, so Alex, congratulations, you win sleep. <laughs> Hooray! Uh, if you can think of anything right now, quickly name a shithead. Uh, and God help you if you name. Yourself. If you name yourself, you're never coming back. <laughs> Because the last two times you've named yourself. <laughs> Person, place, thing, concept. Anything that annoys you. Anything that annoys me. Uh, the time zones. <laughs> <laughs> that works. Time zones are a shithead. Time zones is a shithead. Is a shithead. <laughs> All right, Alex. Well, well, thank you for staying up late with us, Thanks, my friend. Alex. I hope you yeah. sleep until at past noon. Until Tuesday. Okay. See you next Tuesday. <laughs> okay. Would you call me? <laughs> Bye, Alex. Bye. Bye. Okay. Now, now we're down to the goodies. Now we can talk shit about Alex and Chewie. Yeah. Fat Chinese piece of shit. <laughs> Whoa! Man, this is a good He's story. not here, okay? And, and he doesn't listen to it, so that's fine. Yeah, that's true, he doesn't listen to it. You know what? I it. hate English people and Chinese people, because Chinese people try to fucking kill our kids with lead paint, and English people tried to fucking tax our tea. So <laughs> Somebody holds a grudge. <laughs> That's what the grudge was about, right? Someone being mad about them taxing tea? <laughs> I know my horror movies. All right, well. A part of the tea was a part of the Sons of Liberty. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I guess I will host one now. And what is Drew looking for? Oh, well, I was looking for a movie quote to play because I was thinking of something funny, but I don't think that uh, YouTube has it, unfortunately. I, so, I um, honestly don't know what it is you're looking for from the search term, but I love what the search term well, is. Well, okay, here. I, I will, because I can't find the YouTube clip, I'm going to get Kelly to say the line from one of our favorite Stephen King vampire movies. Kelly, go on. You like this movie. I like this movie. It's a Stephen King movie. Oh, 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 oh. Say the line. Where's my dead fucking baby picture? <laughs> <laughs> it is from the Night Flyer, 
and he's a journalist who... <laughs> he's his, like one of those weekly world news journalists. Yeah, and he... His, his, his uh, uh, freaking uh, editor sends him to get a picture of a dead baby. <laughs> <laughs> and when he returns with no picture of a dead baby... No, he, he, no they, he did, but they didn't print it. Oh, yeah, they didn't pitch it. That's a bit of a third. <laughs> And, oh yeah, it's played by Miguel Ferrer. Ferrer. Of, uh... The editor is played by Pee Wee from Porky's. Oh, awesome. Interesting. I love the Night Flyer. I also yes. love Porky's. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen Porky's. Porky's is... It's a piece of shit, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The Night Flyer is great. <laughs> I haven't heard yeah, of the Night Flyer. I just love that you were doing a YouTube search for Night Flyer dead, dead baby. baby. Dead baby, <laughs> yeah. And I don't know why it didn't come up. That's a shame. <laughs> That is a terrible shame. That's going to be your search my history forever. From, my favorite line from Night Flyer is, This is great. The fatties in the supermarket line are going to love this guy. God, I hope he kills more people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Great. Awesome. Well, I did find another fantastic, uh, <laughs> another fantastic Halloween-related thing that I just thought of and how goddamn great it is. Creed from The Office is the Joker. <laughs> now I know that doesn't translate that great to t to a podcast, but it's just hilarious to hear Creed dressed as the Joker <laughs> want to put a smile on his on uh, Oscar's face. <laughs> Oscar dressed up as Uncle Sam. <laughs> yes, let's put a smile on that face. And this is the other one I was looking for was Dwight as the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> Disappear. <laughs> Again, physical comedy on a podcast. I'll say this. Still funny. Fuck people who dress up as the Joker. No, for Kelly. Halloween. Kelly. Fuck people who are gonna dress up like Bane for hey, this Halloween. There's only there's one gonna, person. No, there's gonna be Bane. a million no, Banes. No, no, no. no, there will. Because I've already seen a bunch of douchebags posting photos of yeah. themselves. Yeah. But there's only one person I'll accept as Bane. Justin Chu, That's because right. he's putting in too much time on his costume. <laughs> Look. Justin's life revolves around putting on that Bane costume on Halloween really and sitting in his room and playing video games. I was going to say, what, what's he doing when he puts the costume on? Is he going to a party? Is he going trick-or-treating? Or I would love to see him go trick-or-treating. Sitting in his room. <laughs> trick-or-treating Justin is the best picture in my head. It's the, it's the greatest gift he could give. I think I can't think of any more ideas, probably. I think we Water. might be going as Burt Ward and uh, Kevin, Kevin Bacon, Bacon from Tremors. Yeah, nobody's going to get it but us. <laughs> That's why I'm letting my beard grow. Hey, you want to make dollar? Screw you! <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm letting my beard grow so I can go get that stuff that, like, when old guys are like, Ugh, like, well, I want to look young, but I want to look like, you know, like I have some wisdom as well. So you put that gray stuff in your beard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we can go get that. Oh, God, you know what would be a great costume, but nobody would get it, is I rock a wheelchair and you carry around an oxygen tank Oh, and we be the guys from Abominable. <laughs> I'll be Lance Henry. Yeah, Skin. this coming from the guy who chain smokes next to his oxygen tank at his gas station. Nope. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> All right, now, I'm going to leave. We're going to pretend like this never happened. Uh, great making references to movies that Kelly and I have seen and no one else has heard of. Nick might have heard of it. Nick, have you ever heard of a movie called Abominable? <laughs> I've heard of it. I have no idea. You have to watch it. It it is awesome. It's so bad, but so awesome. I think my favorite scene is when he's perving on the girl in the shower. Oh, yeah. Sorry, when his handler thinks he's perving on the girl in the shower, and she gets pulled through the window and bent in half by the the Sasquatch. Yeah. Yeah, you you showed me, like, the choice cuts from that movie. Yes. They were pretty good. (laughs) Uh, Okay, so Scott's going to host. If you're... Nick, you're okay with that? Yeah. Okay, Scott's gonna go, so we'll start. I'm good. I'm in for the long haul. It's only eleven thirty here. Oh, that's pretty good. It's not. Uh, it's not four thirty a.m. Us Americans can take staying up too late. <laughs> unless those fucking Chinese and British people. <laughs> to be fair, Justin had to go to the hospital to get his foot amputated from his diabetes. So <laughs> he'll be back. He'll be back eventually with <laughs> Sans foot. Sans foot. That's the second time I've used Sans today. Nice. Very European of you. Very European of me. Okay, do I get to start because I'm new to the game? Yeah, sure, you can start because you've never played before. 
I've never played before. Ever. <laughs> I don't right. win very often because I play so many times. Yeah. Hey, but just to point out here, Alex didn't cream the goddamn ta- fucking table with us. Oh, yeah, we, we haven't... Yeah, that's episode... Cream the table. Oh, no, that's the one we just put up, right? The episode we just put up and Alex shit-handled both yeah. of us. It, episode like, 8, Alex just fucking ruined us. Oh, God. Like, And it was like... He beat you three nothing, uh, three one, three and he one. beat me three nothing. Yeah, it was an embarrassment. Yeah, but it to was be a fair, goddamn embarrassment. To be fair, he beat me on the Green Mile, which wasn't Michael Clark Duncan's second. Yeah. No, which wasn't James Cromwell's second. Right. And it wasn't even Michael Clark Duncan's second. It was yep. Bonnie goddamn Hunt. Yeah. Bonnie Hunt going on the would you bang list though. And answering no to that question. <laughs> Anyways, uh, okay, Scott, what are your talking about categories? Categories. Well, let's Kathy do... Kathy Griffin. Let's do some new ones. As you may or may not know, it's Viggo Mortensen's birthday! What do you do? I do birthdays. You do in theaters now and <laughs> best picture losers and... Yeah, I got those too. King of Pancakes. I got that too. Anyway, so, <laughs> category number one is Here Vigo Again, the films of Viggo Mortensen. It is also uh, director Danny Boyle's birthday, so... So we'll, it's Slumdog Millionaire. The category is There's Boyle in Them Thar Hills. That's terrible. That's great. And you Boyle were, and gold do not... It's oil. Oh, wait, it is gold. I ruined this. <laughs> <laughs> I am... I am shamed. Boyle and gold. I was so pleased when I thought of it, it never occurred to me it was wrong. <laughs> Speaking of movies involving oil... Uh, there will be blood. Just named one of the top twenty best movies of the last ten years, or well, twelve years, I guess. Did you find that out because you have liked There Will Be Blood on Facebook? Yeah, I did. Yes, me too. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, no, it's good. Yeah. But uh, to be fair, I only like that movie because Paul Thomas is in it. I like that movie. PFT. Because... <laughs> I do like PFT. Oh, I love PFT actually, and I also like it because he beats the shit out of Paul Dano. <laughs> yes, I hate Paul Dano. I love to see that movie. Kelly, see it. Get your act do together. It. Oh, no, he just saw Seven a few That's weeks true. ago. And Here's that, the thing, though. That was from 1996? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, I just saw, what was it, Memento. Yeah, that Memento. Was, that was 12 years ago. Did you like oh, it? You, you saw it. Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah, I liked it. Last we talked, I don't think you hadn't seen it. No. Yeah, no, it's great. Love it. I just don't understand. Kelly, don't feel bad. I haven't seen it either. Oh, well, you should. Just, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I just don't understand why Guy Pierce just decided to disappear after that movie. I know. Like, because every, everyone was, like, all on his dick after that movie. Yeah. And he's like, oh, I'm going to do nothing, and then the time machine. Time machine. And yeah. then nothing. <laughs> and then fucking lockout! <laughs> no, he did other movies. He did uh, a kind of a cool movie. I guess it falls in the horror category. It's called Ravenous. Uh, it's about kind he, of... Eating people. Yeah, it's about, it's about uh, essentially, I guess, back in pioneer days when people were on the trek to... Uh, out California way, the Oregon Trail, and they got Oregon. and they got to like Colorado. Um, there was like a lot of rumors of uh, cannibalism, and then it had started this whole fear of going west. And then yeah, the movie's all about that, and it's kind of, it's got some comedy, it's got some horror, it's got lots of bloodiness, and it's it. and it's like it's all about the the like concept of um, of ancient Indians, and like if you eat a human, you absorb their power and become yeah. stronger. And it's uh, Guy, P- Guy Pierce and Robert... You know, Robert Carlyle? Yeah. Robert Carlyle, is that his name? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Jeffrey Jones, and it's, yeah. it's pretty good. A friend and, of mine... Uh, hmm? uh, what the, the douchebag from Scream? Uh, David Arquette. Uh, shit. Matthew Lillard? No. David Arquette. The, uh, David Arquette. The cop. The Courtney Cox. I can't remember his fucking name. David Arquette. David Arquette, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Former WCW champion, David Arquette. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, why the fuck did I blank on that? Jesus. I don't know, because you hate wrestling heavyweight champions? <laughs> I, tried to, I tried to push that out of my head that it actually happened. Yeah, that was some great booking. Yeah, a friend of mine in high school loved the movie Ravenous and was constantly threatening to eat me and absorb my power. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, where were Okay, categories. So, yeah, here we go again. My unfortunately titled <laughs> There's Boil in the Thar Hills. And let's go with uh, in theaters meow movies with a cat in them. I just saw a movie with a cat in it, but it's well, probably not that one. It might be. Uh, Paranormal Activity 4? Sure. Are you sure? No. Okay. <laughs> well, see, here's the thing is, I feel like because I also did a Vigo Mortensen birthday category that I could be very good at the Vigo Mortensen category. <laughs> so I will choose the Vigo Mortensen birthday category. All right. Let's go with 2007... 2001 or 1998? 
I will say 1998. 1998. A fine choice, I must say. There are 13 actors in it. It has been rated a bomb by Leonard Walton. Interesting. Yes. If it's the movie I'm thinking of, that falls right into place. Okay. All the pieces have come together. I'm thinking of one. Uh, what can we say? Uh, it's a short review. I uh, will just give you the last sentence. Uh, the result is an insult rather than a tribute to a landmark film. Hmm. Uh, rated bomb. Uh, 13 actors. Hmm. Viggo Mortensen's in it, and it was made in 1998. Not what I was thinking of. I want to get ballsy, but I don't, because I don't want to lose. So I will do the very generous bid of 13. Fair enough. To you, Nick. To Nick. 13 names to you. 11. 11. Kelly Summers. 10. Oh, I'm talking really quiet. Uh, <laughs> mm, I will say... You said ten? Yeah. Uh, I'll try nine. Okay. Nick? Eight. Eight. Eight of thirteen. Not seven of nine. I'll say name it. Kelly says name it. So Nick gets eight? Eight. Of 13? Eight of 13. Now, before you say anything, uh -huh. I wanted to go negative one on this, but then I was hoping I could get more names because there I can I can only think of, if it's the movie I'm thinking of, I can only think of three people in this movie. So if I heard one of the other two names, I would have known it immediately. Yes. But this, yeah, n now it doesn't even matter, so. You, you probably have the right movie, Drew. Okay. But we will see what Nick thinks about it. So, from the bottom up, James LaGrosse, James Remar, Dexter's dad. I got OP. And I, and I know it. Rita Wilson, Rance Howard, Chad Everett, Anne Haney, Philip Baker Hall, and Robert Forster are your 8 of 13. 98, and what was the last line of the review again? The review, uh, the last line of the review says, The result is an insult rather than a tribute to a landmark film. Uh, what was the first and middle of the review again? Ha <laughs> Um... I had a problem. I washed my hands, but I didn't pull my pants up all the way. <laughs> so my butt cracks hanging out. Oh, you're fine. Did he... Sorry, did he say anything? I was out of the room. He's thinking. Oh, he's thinking. Yeah. Um... Shakespeare in Love was out in 1998. And, uh... That's not what I was implying, Kelly. I wasn't implying adjust your wiener. Oh, he's giving me the bat cave. Chaos. Rays. <laughs> I, I have no clue. Anyone Pretty else have sure I, I missed m most of those names after James Remar because I went P. So just, can you give me the eight? James LaGrosse, James Remar, Rita Wilson, Rance Howard, Chad Everett, Anne Haney, Philip Baker Hall, Robert Forster. Okay, see, I had it narrowed down to two, and I only can think one would be a bomb. So, it's either striptease. Oh, well, he's not in striptease though. Nope, that was ninety six. Okay, then I'm saying then is it GI Jane? It is neither. No, hmm. I thought maybe. It was I thought it was GI Jane. Why are you so hung up on Demi Moore? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I think, I think it's what it is. is I think G.I. Jane, and I know he's in G.I. Jane. I know that was so then I automatically movie. associate him with every Demi Moore movie. <laughs> so I go, oh, he's in Striptease, too. Yeah. Okay, I immediately thought it was G.I. Jane as soon yeah. as you said 
like that, and I'm like, oh, maybe it's not GI Jane. Did you have a different thought, Kelly? No, he no, thought GI Jane too. But then when you said it was a limb, yeah, like, that's kind of yeah. Cool. What? Not yeah. It. Keep going up. What if uh, if I said the first part of the review, slow, stilted, completely pointless scene for scene remake? Oh, Psycho. Psycho. Motherfucker, I was thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> so mad. I was like. I was like, I can't remember, I can't think of why, because I've never seen it, because it's, no. Cause it's no. Here's the thing. And is, I was like, what the fuck part could James Remar have played in a Psycho remake? I, he, was, he was Dexter's dad in in Psycho. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen, it's stupid, I know, and you can get mad at me, any, anybody in this room has the right to get mad at me. Never seen the Hitchcock, only seen the Shot for Shot remake. Yikes. Never seen both. You don't need to see the remake. You can see. I the know remake. that, but yeah, I've never. I want to see, but then again, I haven't seen a lot of movies before 1980. So I went and saw uh, Seven Psychopaths. Oh, yeah. And the trailer before that was the Hitchcock trailer with Anthony Hopkins as fat. It's great yeah, though. Is it not? Does it not look great? Yeah, it looks awesome. It looks good. I want to yeah. see it. I want to see it. Yeah, I really want to see that. Oh, it looks yeah, incredible. It looks cool. That you know what? Honestly, that could maybe give Lincoln a run for its money. Maybe. In biopics. Or in, sort in, of biopics? in for in for anything yeah. like. Hopkins is great. Oh, yeah. And there's going to be a lot of Oscar buzz over that movie, too. Yeah. Because I, I had said, as soon as I saw Daniel Day Lewis as Lincoln, I'm like, fuck it, give me Oscar give now. Me Oscar. There's no point. <laughs> but if there's one person that can probably challenge him, it's yeah. Anthony Hopkins. Yeah. See, when I saw the trailer and he's in the room and he's like, his voice is quivering about we have to give the people the freedom or whatever. Yeah. I just, I literally had to stifle back laughter. It was so melodramatic. Yeah. And over the top. <laughs> oh, absolutely. But the thing is, it's Daniel Day. Like, it doesn't matter what role he's doing. He's always, always, always going to be nominated for the Academy Award. And for the most part, he almost always wins. He usually wins. <laughs> the only one he didn't win for was Nine, and that's nobody because nobody saw that because fucking movie. fuck Nine. <laughs> yeah, like, it's a mu- it's an Italian musical. Like, nobody fucking saw that movie. But, like, yeah. my left foot. Are you kidding me? My left foot. Like he, Always been bad. <laughs> see, like it, do, it doesn't matter what he plays, he will win that that Academy Award. So, if, but if I, I honestly, if anybody can challenge him, it's Anthony Hopkins. There are very few actors who are as well respected and are incredible actors like Anthony Hopkins. So, who yeah. the f- granted, Anthony Hopkins has done a lot of shitty movies recently. Sure, like he he does the he, hey garbage pays the bills. Garbage pays the bills. It's a cl- classic Christopher Plummer line. Yeah. Who the who the fuck did Viggo Mortensen play in? Uh, I don't know. He was just one of the dudes. He was one of the guys that was looking for Anne Hayes who got oh. yeah. psychoed. The top yeah, the top five were William H Macy, Viggo Mortensen, Julianne Moore, Anne Hayes, and Vince Vaughn. Obviously. Vince Vaughn, yeah. yeah. Vince Vaughn plays for uh, Norman Bates. More Bates. importantly, though, so we can get off of the whole um, shitty remakes. Uh, we can get off of that. You have never seen the Hitchcock Psycho. Nope. nope. That's like. I've I only ever like, seen oh the shot God, for shot remake movie because I literally have a category called you know horror classic horror, horror movies I've never seen. Holy shit, though, Psycho is just like <laughs> that's like penultimate movie that you should see. Yeah, I, uh, I can say though, even though you've seen the remake and you feel as though it probably will be reason not to see it, Psycho is another one of those movies that just pulls you in immediately, and I. Fuck it, there's no way the remake does that. I, I will Just say... Van Zandt is a piece of shit. Yeah, he is a piece of shit. <laughs> I absolutely, no way. I absolutely hate him, but I, did, I don't know why I'd see... Well, I think it's because... The thing is, for me, I know personally, uh, I've seen uh, way too many movies that were made after 1990, yeah. but the fact of the matter is, for me personally, um, and it doesn't go for every movie, but I think it's in my head that a lot of movies made... Before, like, I don't know, I don't, I don't even want to say 1975, before, like, 1970, I feel like it was before the acting had been developed for m- movies, so a lot of people were still acting as in, like, on stage play acting. So, stationary sets, and they're acting to almost, like, I know they're not acting to a crowd, but it, they play it like they're acting to a crowd, and that, for me, that's what I, why I didn't watch, I haven't watched a lot of movies that are that old. I can say, though, for Psycho, Psycho is literally one of the five movies that is credited of pulling movies out of that, though. Pulling movies out of that, yeah. playing to the stage kind of thing. Yeah. So I think, you'll, I think you'll really like it. Also, it does, play to the, it does have that kind of thing where it plays to the stage and it's kind of played as a mystery, but it's still a phenomenal movie. Dial in for Murder is Hitchcock's greatest film. I actually, I actually have always wanted to see that one. And I've wanted to Very see. Very good. I've always wanted to see Vertigo. I think the only yeah. Hitchcock movie I've ever seen is The Birds. Uh, yeah, me too. I think that's the one I've ever seen. Yeah, I actually, I actually just got a couple that I haven't watched yet. I got uh, Rear Window and uh, North- Oh, such a looking kid. <laughs> and uh, North by Northwest. Hey, kid. Keep it real. That's Rear Window two. <laughs> that's Rear Window two, starring Nicolas Cage. Yikes. 
<laughs> Go find a wheelchair. This is me. This is me. Baby oh, yeah. Palooza. Hot. Baby Palooza. Yeah. Do it right. <laughs> Dig <Dang> it dog. <laughs> Jesus. Out of the way, fat man. <laughs> Robot chicken does it right. <laughs> Who, uh, uh... So Kelly told Nick to name it, so I guess it's so we'll me to... Kelly? Sure. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, so let's go with uh, the number one movie at the box office on this day, uh, two, three, or ten years ago. Oh, good change up. Yes. Uh, also, we have Go Forth and Multiply, the fourth movie in a series. So is it the f like there has only been four, Not or it's just the fourth movie it's in a whole? It's just the fourth. Okay, There could be only four, there could be ten. That goes along with my beating a dead horse category. Yeah, and uh, Quaid's Awareness Month, the... But I know the answer to that. No, it's the movies of Dennis or Randy Oh, Quaid. or not together. Not the one that they Oh, okay, take. okay, okay, okay. Because that's how yeah. Doug played it, and I already know that movie, yeah, so... Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, so... Okay. Yeah, go forth, number one, or Quaid's. Ooh, I'm going to say... You know what? I like all of those. It's much different than the ones you say that I hate. <laughs> Good. So, um, mm, I'm going to go Quaid's Awareness. Quaid's Awareness. Um, <laughs> you can have. You, sir, are retarded. I just had a stroke. You could be a little more sensitive. Ah, uh, fuck you. You can have 1996. You can have 2004. Or you can have 2008. Um, let's say. Sorry, what was the first one? 1996? 96, 04, 08. Uh, let's go, let's go with O four. O four. I already have one in my head, so I'm screwed. <laughs> it's tough. Is this? R Randy or Dennis Quaid? Okay. I have an idea, too. God, uh, seriously? We're probably I, the same I thing. I actually really love uh, both of them, so yep. one for one reason and one for the other reason. One because one's a good actor, and one because one's a crazy, crazy asshole. asshole. So we who, got, who lives in Canada. Yeah. So what do we got? It's 2004. It has a Quaid in it. It has ten actors in it. Sorry, how many stars? It's rated three stars by Leonard. I think that's generous. It's hmm. not a bad movie, but three is generous. Uh, but, for, but for him, three is, just, is like above average, because he usually gives two. Right? Two, yeah. two and a half is average for him, so three just means that he liked it a little yeah. more than average. Yeah. Uh, so what can we say? That's all plot. The characters are likable, the dialogue isn't dumb, and the effects are spectacular. And then I can't say that. So, um, so yeah, so 10 actors, 04, it's got a Quaid in it. Uh, yeah, characters likable, dialogue isn't dumb, e effects are spectacular. Uh, I'll say 10 of 10. 10 of 10, going to Kelly. It's an 8. Eight to Nick. Eight to Nick. I'm gonna go five. Ooh. Ooh. <clears throat> Took a jump. I'm not saying four, so Nick, you can name that movie. Nick, you can name that movie. Here are your five. I don't. Well, we'll see. Your five are Perry King, Austin Nichols, immediately went in my head. J. O. Sanders. No, I was thinking Kenneth of... Welsh and Dash Mihawk, M I H O K. Oh, Dash Mihawk is. He's in uh, Romeo and Juliet, the Coppola one. He plays uh, Benvolio? Yeah, hmm. Benvolio. Okay. That's what I know him from. That's my go to Dash Mihawk. That's your Dash Mihawk go to. Well, at least we have one. We were not thinking the same thing. He's in a lot of cop esque movies. Like, he always plays like a cop, sort of. What are you thinking, Nick? Day after tomorrow. Correct, oh. my friend. Well Yay. done. Huh, not what I was thinking. I immediately, as soon as I thought, I don't like, because I said, you get a movie in your head and you're totally screwed. Yeah. Yeah. I had Ice Harvest immediately, because I'm like, Randy Quaid, I'm like, it's around mm. 2000s, mid, it's early 2000s. Yeah. I think it's like 2001 or two. Yeah. But I immediately, that's immediately what I went to. Like, I hate that it that always screws you over like that. Know, it's and then it gets in your head and that's it. You can't think of anything yeah. else but that movie. I didn't know which Quaid it was going to be. But I went with uh, Dennis Quaid and Flight of the Phoenix. Oh yeah, I think that's yeah. a little bit. It's a four. Is it? I think that's a little bit later than that, isn't it? I have no that's, idea. It's close enough. When, when, when did House start? 
House? This is before House. Yeah, no, this is the very last thing Hugh Laurie did before House. So uh, House did It was eight. like 06 or 05? No, it did eight seasons, so it would have been 04. Okay, so yeah, I guess five things before. Yeah. All right, so point two, Nick. Um, Who's got points? Uh, Kelly and Nick. Kelly and Nick. No, wait. Because yeah, I told Nick to name it, right? Did he get it? Yeah, but what was the first one? It was the Vigo Mortensen one. And he didn't get it? No. And you told him to name it? Yeah. Okay, so Kelly's got so, one. So Kelly's got one, Nick's got one, okay. Okay, and this one we're going Drew to Nick? Yeah, me to Nick. Okay. Drew, getting to pick a lot. Yep, it's fun. All right, let's go Squeal Like a Pig, the films of Ned Beatty. We'll never pick that one. Why not? Because I don't know enough of his films. You you know all the movies that are on this. Yeah, but I can't think of any of the movies he's in. Well, maybe. <laughs> Uh, Best Picture Losers, because I know you like that one. Yeah, you are correct. I don't like that one. And uh, four-letter titles. I'm going to murder you in your sleep. <laughs> you just pick the four categories I hate the most. Four-letter movies. Four-letter movies are great. Rango. No, that's... Uh, <laughs> no, that's... <laughs> no, that's, <laughs> that's uh, Beatles. Beatles. Wait, Kelly, way to blow our only inside joke. <laughs> I'm not here enough. <laughs> so what do you like of that? Drew Beatty, Best Picture Losers. I said four, and four. four. Oh, I thought you were just commenting on it. Oh, no, I was saying it. that's the only one of those three that I don't hate that oh, okay. much. Uh, Actually, I don't really hate Best Picture Losers. It's just yeah. a lot harder than four letters. Yeah. Uh, I'm down to two in that. You got 93 and 01. Uh, 93. 93, okay. Now, question before I answer. They title... So if it if it's something that starts with the that doesn't count right, because uh, that would be the plus the four letters. Yeah, they, they're all just four. Just letters. four letters. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I wasn't sure if we were playing. Yeah, because that without the, the rules. Yeah, the would actually open up a lot. Yeah. Because like there's the, the cove or something. Yeah. Yeah. That's not a movie. The, the firm. That's a documentary. You fuck. Oh, documentaries aren't movies anymore. You can't do documentaries on this thing. There's no people in it. There's people. Well, not actors. Michael Moore. <laughs> yeah, Michael Moore. And that's and it. No one. Governor something something something. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, so we got 1993 four letter title. Uh, Leonard gives it three stars. I'd probably agree. It's good. And we got uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen actors in it. What can we say about it? Uh... Uh, um, uh, it's a bit of a giveaway. Uh, far-fetched premise made believable by winning cast and cameos by celebrities, real reporters, and actual U.S. senators. Three stars, 1983, four-letter title, 13 actors, bidding starts at Drew, going to Nick. Hmm. Again, I have one in my head. Yeah. I'm going to be screwed because I'm going to be stuck on that one. So I'll say 13 okay. to Nick. I'm going to say zero. Good man. Let's see. What's our what's the category? Four letter titles. Four letter titles. Can you give me the description one more time? Uh, far fetched premise made believable by winning cast and cameos by celebrities, real reporters, and actual U.S. senators. 93, I three stars. No, what I'm thinking of is wait is later. But I think Nick knows it. Nick sounded confident, I will say that. And if you get it wrong, I get a point and we're all tied at one. That's true. Hmm. I don't think it's ninety three, so I'll say name it. Name it to Nick. Is the movie Dave? Nick, let me tell you something. The movie is Dave. Holy shit, that's what I was thinking. I didn't think it was 93. <laughs> yeah, you just think it was later? Or? I thought it was like 95 or 96. Uh, uh, 93 it is. I'm I'm unfamiliar with this movie. It's where... Um, uh, Kevin Klein. It looks, looks exactly like the President of the United States. And so they make him the President because the President has, has a stroke or something. After fucking another one. <laughs> Never yeah. even heard of it. It's really good. Yeah, it's good. I don't know why, but I immediately went to Ed TV. That's later. Yeah, I know. That's yeah. why I was like, "That's I'm totally screwed, because I'm like, yeah. there's no way that's 93. It's like, what, 97? Uh, yeah, in there. 97? Yeah. The billing on Dave, does that go Kevin Klein? Kevin Klein? Sigourney <laughs> Weaver? Yeah. And... Bing Rames? No. Bing's in it. He's not third. Do what? 
Give me my legs. Ke- Ke- Kelly had said Ving Rhames. I said he's in it, but he's not third build. Oh. Uh, who would the third be? It's not Martin Lando, is it? No. Robert Langer. Frank, 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 Lang- sorry, Frank, Frank Langella. Frank Langella. Frank Langella. I get those two mixed up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you mean uh, freaking Nixon? Yeah. Nixon, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Frank Langella. Lots of people in it. Ben Kingsley, Ving Rhames, Charles Grodin, Laura Linney, Bonnie Hunt. Lots of folks. So, I believe ben Nick... Stein's in that, actually. Oh, is he? He plays himself. Ah, very good. He's one of the cameos they reference. That's why I knew it. Good movie. You should see it. Yeah, yeah it is good. It's a good movie. And I believe that's the win for Nick. And as a prize, he gets to host his first game of Leonard Maltin? Yes, Yay. he does. Uh, a prize he also have, would, would have been afforded had he lost. <laughs> You are now two-thirds of the way through Isaac Sticks Heart Cinema Episode 10. Only one more to come, the dreaded Episode 10.666.